Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are back in the fact. Let's go. What's up, coach? Man, so excited to be back, Pooh. Uh, last couple episodes, got a major star here today, and I'm just super excited about this one, man. And good to see you too, Pooh. You're the man. All right, all right, all right. Now I'm hype. I'm hype. My guy got me hype. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome to High School Basketball Weekly. I am your host, Glenn Pooh Harding, here with my guy, Brian Riker. Y'all know what we do, baby. Number one high school show in New York City. And in the world. <laughs> What's good? What's good? I mean, I just saw that graphic. It's so funny. I love going through all the guys in it. And so many of them are just in the news and things like that. It's so great. And just to see uh, Magic Mel uh, open up a pair of shoes from Kyrie last night on Instagram. And what me and you have always been saying, I said, you better save me a shoe size when you get yours, my man, because it's coming. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you you've been one who said it uh, a long time ago. You was like, uh, that Mel will probably have his. He'll be the first guy to get his own sneaker. I mean, I, I'm waiting for Kyrie to give him the nod, man. I mean, he's got the company. He's got the perfect guy. I think that'd be awesome. <laughs> Kid got a great smile, great attitude, right? He yeah. fits perfect in that brand. And addicted, like you get addicted to watching the kid play. I mean, man, it's so much fun. He's nothing but highlights and he makes winning plays i mean it's gonna be great to see him over the next couple of years he do so many things well right yeah he do so many things well and, and listen fyi i know a lot of y'all went crazy over my top sophomores post y'all done went ham on the freshman post now put up the sophomore post and everybody go crazy Let's that's go. why y'all should watch the show this is why y'all should watch the show y'all will understand why we do what we do here that's the sad part is people throw in the jabs that we immediately talk about when we drop these rankings. It just cracks me up. And, you know, to be honest, you're a respected guy. These are your rankings. You know, I love rankings because it always brings up debates and people get so into it. And I appreciate it, man. It always cracks me up. But some of the comments are out of control. <laughs> Listen, one of the guys that they were saying I left off is our guest tonight, right? And and I can understand there was three guys that probably was left off that list. It wasn't done intentionally because all three of those guys were top players in the city. That's what they don't get, yeah. Right? They weren't just the top overall. sophomores. They were top players overall. Yeah. We're talking about in the whole city. If they were right? on the top 10, that's the thing that people don't understand when they just look at a bro thing. And I, and the DMs I get too, like, you know, is this is this really what's going on? And I said, do you know do you know the top ten list in the city? And they they write question mark, and I'm like, exactly. You don't know what's going on. So if you made that top ten overall list, who excluded you from any of the other lists? So right? Yeah, go watch the show. You'll get it. All right. I know y'all see an hour and forty five minutes. Yeah, go watch the show. Yeah. Can't you fast forward through it? As long as you get through the thirty seconds, I'm good. Still counts as a view. Whatever. Of course. of course. And yeah, there's we talk about all the rankings there. And uh, you know, and it's funny, and listen, that's what teams do. It it cracks me up how many te- how many people really just see the list and don't take the time. You know how many times who I've gotten yelled at for not having a player on the first team 
and he bought his MVP. You know what I mean? Like, right. of course he's on a team, man. He's the MVP. You know what I mean? It cracks me up, man. But listen, it's people. It's people's passion. I love that people are fighting for other kids, and that's what the great debate is. You know, the rankings are about. That's right. And, and my God, B said, "Yo, Poos, stop making excuses, man. It is what it is." Like Cam and Mace, y'all figure it out. Oh, right? yeah. Dude, you deserve you deserve to be able to drop a rankings, my friend. I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm the first guy to like kind of judge that, and you know, not that I'm an authority, but you see plenty of games, and you know these kids inside and out. You know, I, I mean, I respect your rankings a lot more than some of these people. I mean, a lot of these guys don't even have their you know these names for these kids at the right school. You know what I mean? Have you seen them at all this year, and you have them in your rankings? I know Pooh has. Respect the technique. That's all I tell y'all. Respect the technique. Oh yeah. Respect the architect. Of course, man. If you right. and if Damn. you don't have haters, poo, you ain't popping, as people say. That's right. Haters. <laughs> haters. I need yeah. them. I need them. Speaking of popping. <laughs> hey, speaking of popping, tonight we have the leader scoring in the Catholic School League and one of the top sophomores in the city. Some say he's number one. Some say number two, number three, but you can't take him out of that top three, right? Because he's one of the top players in the whole city. Here's a sophomore leading the Catholic School League in scoring, and we have a McDonald's All-American, baby. We got guys that's going to big-time colleges, baby, and they seniors, and he was the leading scorer out of all of them. So you got to respect it. He don't just talk to talk. Matter of fact, he don't really talk at all. He just give you buckets. That's it. He's a man child. That's what we call him. And he go by the name of Josh Powell of Malloy High School. I guess. <laughs> but we shall see tonight. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh -oh. We're going to the next guest right now. Our first guest. <laughs> and our only guest for tonight, our guy, Josh Powell. Whenever you're ready to pop on, Josh, we here, baby. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Been waiting a while for this one. <laughs> man, let me tell you. I seen this young man at Thomas Jefferson High School when he was in eighth grade. And I was saying to myself, who is this high school player playing with these junior high school kids? He was so much bigger and better than everyone on the court. And I'm saying to myself, man, if he can hit that three, because he was, you know, they had him playing down low. I was like, if, yo, if he can hit that three, he'll be bucket three, bucket yeah. three. I was like, oh, my God, I spoke too soon. I spoke too know. soon. You and didn't I didn't know. I didn't know. And then. He went on to make a splash at Malloy as a freshman and then leading the Catholic School League in scoring as a sophomore. Salute, young man. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. How y'all guys doing? Man, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this one all season, JP. We've been talking about this, so I'm real excited. Um, yes, sir. This is awesome, too. Go ahead. You want to start us off? No, no, go ahead, Coach. Go ahead, Coach. You take it, take it, take it, take it, take it from Yeah, me. it's funny. I, I've known about Josh Powell probably since he's in seventh grade, and it's so great to see, you know, you go through the process, and you're a guy who's gone through it so quickly, really matured and, and, and are doing huge things. What would you say you worked on or attributed uh, the success you had as a sophomore, like going from your freshman to sophomore year? What were you like, I got to work on? What do I got to get better? That really unlocked your game to having such a monster sophomore year. What would you say, JP? Um, definitely being more of a leader, being more vocal with my teammates. Because I didn't really do that freshman year because we had six seniors. So, you know, I didn't really have to lead or set by, be set by example in practice. But sophomore year came and people left, seniors graduated. So I had to take on the leadership role, go out and practice every day. And then, you know, my teammates had to, you know, guard me in practice and challenge me, try to get me better and move move off the ball. So those little things like that I had to really work on and improve, and it, it really showed. How would you describe last season? Like, 
overall for you? Like, how would you describe last season? Like the, the negatives and the positives. For me, yes, like individually, and as a team, like how would you? Describe um, as you? a team, I feel like we could have did better. You know, dudes weren't going as hard, and they gave up once they see people leave, and everybody jumped ship, and everybody's like, "Yo, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do?" And I was, you know, I was trying to tell them like, "Yo, if we just buy in and listen to what Coach says, we could win." And we honestly could have won. We had a good group, but it just didn't happen. But me, I feel like I got better as a leader. Um, I feel like I got more consistent on my jump shot from freshman to sophomore year. Um, I showed that I can handle the ball more, rebound, play defense, and just be vocal and be a leader. And that's the things I set out before the season. Like, those are the things I want to work on and show to colleges and everybody that I could do. Yeah, we definitely saw you do a little bit of everything this year, which I thought was great. You know, Coach allowed you to kind of thrive – do your thing. And you really were showing a lot of different aspects of your game. And I think the thing that really unlocked you this year and you hit it right on the head is you kind of upped your consistency. You know, you were taking better shots. You were, you were just a lot more consistent with a lot of your thinking, but I'm going to ask you kind of outside the box and kind of hit you with a curveball. you know, looking, looking at the college landscape. Now, a lot of coaches talk about, you know, parents, things like that. And I've heard that you have A plus parents uh that really, really have you on a great track. Can you talk about the impact that your parents have kind of had on you at a young age and uh the things they've helped you with basketball so far? Um yeah, my parents they always been around. They married. Um my dad and mom always take me in the morning before school to Brian Aronson, strength coach, like three times a week. I think Monday, Monday, Wednesday and Thursday, we go every 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 Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, 6 a.m., we in the gym before school. After school, they take me to work out with my coach and just, you know, get better. And they start at a young age. They showed me that if I wanted to play basketball and really – if I really love the game, then that's what I got to do, work hard, because I wasn't born with the ability just to play. And some people had the ability to jump. I didn't have all that, so I had to work for everything. So they showed me that at a young age, and that carried on, and here I am now. Yo, did, was you like sitting in the mirror practicing what you gonna say right now, Fab? Because <laughs> nah. you, you, you talking like you 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 ready for the big time right now, man? Who's operating? Nah, man. nah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> man, this this is awesome. I love I love to see guys take it all in and, and kind of be able to deliver what they want to say and and speak so clearly. This is this is awesome, man. Salute to your parents as well. Salute to your nah, parents. They're the best. Yeah, man. Yeah. I was watching some things today. Uh, I forgot who sent me this message, right? And uh, it was a DM, and it was parents on the AAU scene acting bonkers, right? You know, arguing with the refs and and getting into fights with the refs, um, running on the court, and, and just doing the most. This just happened today. I. I you know, I get a lot of DMs out. I pick and choose what I want to read because I can't get through all of them in a day. Um, but keep keep sending them. I, I appreciate all you guys' DMs. Uh, but this one stuck out to me because uh, this this was – oh, I, it was my brother. Salute to Six. Love you, bro. <laughs> it was my brother. My brother sent me uh, this oh, – I was tagged in this. Maybe I was tagged in it, and I saw my brother's uh, comment. But – Mm. When you're on the road, when you're on AAU, do you see a lot of that going on in AAU and and during the high school season? Yeah, there are there are a couple of crazy parents. There's a little yeah, AAU more, but yeah, there's a couple of crazy parents. AAU and I and I would and I would think of that as well, you know, and I don't want you getting on here knocking anybody parents, but you know, it's it's just the reality of the sport and the times that we live in, right? Because parents are more involved, they're more hands-on, and a lot of them just kind of overstep those boundaries. Um, um, when I was coming up, our parents didn't come see us play, right? We was those last key kids who was able to go out early and go to these games and come back and kind of give our parents the insight of what was going on. Um, but Salute to all those parents who, you know, want to make sure that uh, their kids get there on time and they're supporting them. Um, we love that. But there, there's also 
boundaries, right? And I just think that it was just on my mind. And since you spoke with your parents and how they support you and, you know, bring you to the games. And, like, I've been to your games plenty of times. <clears throat> I think uh, I met your granddad at uh, last year at the Tom Kuchowski uh -huh. game, right? So, yeah. you know, it's, it's certain parents that, you know, you, you see and, and see them in the stands. And, you know, there's other parents that's, you know, that's out front. So, um, but, but salute to all the parents that's out there doing the thing. And, and I'm glad you could comment on that. Um, another part to this question is, how have you been on the AAU scene since you've been out these last couple of weeks? How has how things been it? for you? Yeah, how has things been for you on the AAU circuit? Uh, it's been good. It's been um new adjustment because I'm playing 17s now, playing up on the Adidas circuit. So I had to learn a couple things the first couple games, but I got used to it, and now it's kind of it's not. Hold not on, hold on. Blow the whistle, blow the whistle on him. Yo, 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 this, yo, salute, salute, yo. Let me tell you, there's nothing like we talk about this all the time. If you're going to play AAU, you should be playing up. Me and my guy, John Arnold, was talk, we talk about this all the time. And again, I hate to go, yo, when we were playing, but there was no age brackets. It was high school. That was it. Yeah. It was just high school. You're going to play against people. If you're on varsity and you're playing against guys in high school, 17, 18, 19, whatever, why play down? Exactly. That's just my thought. That's just my just my thinking process. Everybody have their reasons why they play down. But again, go ahead, Coach. Go ahead, go ahead. Go, I mean, go ahead, Josh. Go ahead. How had that experience been for you? What 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 were the adjustments really like? Like your jump? Um, I would say I had to make quicker reads. You know, I can't just hold the ball and get a screen like I did in New York City. It was more I gotta get it and go. And make the right passes. You know, I can't force shots. I got to, like, play through the system and play through my teammates because everybody's good on that level. I mean, it's 17s. Nobody's just there because they're there. So, you know, I had to move the ball and not force shots. And that made me look even more better. So I would say that's the biggest adjustment. But, I mean, I still – personally, I did good. I averaged just around, like, 15 points, three rebounds, two assists that first session. I think I'm, I made a couple standouts on Twitter, a couple of posts on Twitter. But I, I did personally good. Talk about uh talk about the Wiz Kids program a little bit. Um, like you said, you know, you're making an adjustment. It's a new program. What do you like about this program? And uh what are they doing to help you so far? Um, they talk to they they're a really good program. They talk to a lot of coaches for me. Um, that's my guy Muggs and Coach Brown. They they're always involved, making sure I'm getting better. I mean, no 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 shot in any other program, but like I've never like every almost every practice, Ian is there and he a top five player in the country and just just last last this this last practice it was monday he was there and you know he's we going at each other and mugs my head coach is like yeah yeah i brought him for you you know you got to get better this is how you're going to get better and me personally i never had that and he was in my face guarding me dunking i was scoring but i wasn't letting it you know i wasn't giving it to him easy and he was he was challenging me too so that right there is gonna make me better get back make me get better alone because if I could do that against a top five player in the country, McDonald's or American, he'd go into the league. I mean, I would only get better because I'm only a sophomore playing against him. So it's a whole different love over there. I mean, they treat me like they need me. It's not like they just want me. They need me. So that's why I went over there. Salute to Muggs and Captain Jack and Coach Brown. Oh, yeah. Salute. Salute. And way to have that mindset, JP. You know, it's like. Some kids would get so down, like, you know, a kid like Captain Jack comes and makes a dunk. The next play, right? You just got to keep yeah, moving. Next play. Well, this, you know? You you better. Move forward. Yeah, for sure. I love the fact that he said that they treat me like they need me. Right? Because <laughs> this, this is what you're going to go through on your college visits, right? Because a lot of kids look at the names and be like this is where i want to go right i want to yeah. go there and the god that needs you you like nah, i don't want to do that right and the we talk about the, th the things that make sense yeah not just you know just anybody but the things that make sense 
And we kind of go with the people that, you know, we want to go to, but we don't want to go to the place that really needs us and that where we could be a breakout star and 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 catapult ourselves to the next level. With all that's going on with the transfer portal, and you know what you're up against, right? I know you you thinking about this now. Um, what are the other steps that you're taking to make sure that you're able to make that leap from high school or prep school, wherever you go, and we're gonna get to that later on, right? You know, yeah. to that to that next level, uh, so you can you know get a scholarship and not uh, be bypassed like a lot of the other players in the country. Mm -hmm. Just honestly, just like just staying in the gym, keeping my same work ethic, um, just living in the gym, honestly, and just keep growing and keep getting stronger. Because, you know, those college dudes, they like 23, 24 grown men now and it's NIL now. So they staying in college for five years, four years. So just staying in the gym and just getting college ready. So they have no excuse but to play me like it's no, you know, he's too weak or he can't handle the ball. He not what you can't handle pressure. That's why I'm playing up. So there's no excuse when I get to that point. Love that. And then um, what was I going to ask you, JP, about? Oh, yeah. I know we've talked about it a bunch of times. But I guess you. I want you to kind of tell the platform, tell the coaches that watch the show. You know, I've kind of asked you what your dream school is, and you always give a mature answer. And I'll let you give the answer. Um also, talk about what, what you're kind of looking for in a school. Um, okay. Um, well, my dream school right now, I like UConn. Mm -hmm. I always like that coach, Kamani Young. He's been in contact. He's a great dude. Just He's just a great dude. You know, he just – he always calling my mom, make sure everything's good. They back-to-back. -back. So, that that's my dream school in Baylor. Cause I like what they did with that um, – Jacoby Walter kid, he was yeah, he was he was really good. They let him play freely, and now he's gonna be first rounder. So, whatever school honestly needs me, not just wants me, but needs me. That's what I'm really looking for. A school that's gonna treat me like family, and I can go back there after I'm done, and they'll still treat me like family regardless of what happens. You know, just school that needs me, needs Josh Powell. That's what I'm looking for. New York City, come on, <laughs> New York, <laughs> New York City. New, New New York City, baby. Nah, nah, I get it, I get it. Hey, listen, uh, the biggest question of the night, what up, CK? Salute our guy, CK, Upstate, our uh, Upstate Connect. Um, he, he's, he's been hitting me up. He's like, where's he going? <laughs> I'm wondering if prep schools will be an option, All right? That's that's the biggest thing. And, you know, there's no pressure uh, uh, tonight, but, you know, word in the street. You know, I know Coach B is getting it. I've been getting it for the last couple of weeks uh, uh, now. Been getting um, it for two years. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't want to blow him up too much. But, yes, we've been getting it for, like, the last two years for sure. Um, do you think you 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 accomplish everything you need to accomplish in, in the Catholic School League as far as, you know, coming out the gates as a sophomore, leading the league in scoring? Like, that is – absolutely phenomenal to do as a sophomore, especially in one of the toughest uh, leagues in the country. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, I kind of think I did everything I could do in New York City wise. Cause I mean, like you said, I did lead the league in scoring, you know, I mean, the only, only thing I could do now at this point is win a chip and not saying it's going to be impossible, but it will be really difficult with the team we have coming back this year at Malloy. But I love Malloy, and I'm I'm a loyal dude. That's the reason why I don't really want to leave. But like, it's kind of it's like they kind of give no option at that that school because it's like if we're not getting no transfers or recruits coming in, you know, it's hard. But I really do love Malloy, and I love I don't want to leave my family. But you know, if that's what has to come down to, I want to go to the next level. Dudes leave every day, B. That's what the business is like. Dudes leave every day. Girls leaves every day. Coach Cal just left Kentucky to go to Arkansas. <laughs> and they go, kids to transfer in. I'm going, but coaches can leave anytime they want. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime. The real big contracts. Yeah, and I mean, and, and JP is looking at it right now. You know, you're telling me Boogie Flan two months ago was prepared to have to look for a whole new school and potentially go somewhere else and go with a new coach. 
I mean, that was a done deal for a while. You know what I mean? So he gets to see the business side of it. And and, and that's the thing. I know JP is a, is a really loyal dude. I've heard nothing but good things about him from a boy. Always takes care of his business. And, you know, it just kind of is what it is. I know people have always been on me about uh, JP potentially going somewhere else. It potentially is probably going to happen. Um, just talk about talk about the kind of you know to give to give a perspective to to people and talk about the pressure of of outside people. I know you have such you know like we talked about your parents are helping you. You're focused. You got good trainers, but talk about the outside pressure you receive from other players, um, other programs about potentially coming over. I mean, are your DMs like flooded with guys trying to get you to roll out, JP, or what? Yeah, it's it's like every other day. There's dudes texting me, getting my number, talking about, yo, if you go here, you're going to be good. Team up with this dude, team up with this player. You and him got a spot. They're even talking about giving people bags. I'm like, I don't I don't really listen to none of that. I just, <laughs> I just focus on the game. But, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I can't imagine some of the offers you're getting. And one thing we have on this, JP, we talk about the Bad Advice Club. And you're seeing it in your DMs, man. There are people that are going to promise you all these things and tell you all these amazing things that could happen. But like you said, stay focused on on the goal. You know, you guys don't want to, you know, owe anybody anything. You guys are focused on what you guys got to do. And, you know, you guys got to consider all your options. And it's, and it, it's really an exciting time, JP. You know, take it all in and use it as motivation to keep yourself going, like you said. Look mm-hmm. for that guy in practice who's going to push you. Look for the coach who's going to get the most out of you. You know what I'm saying? That's That would be my kind of advice and the best thing I could say, uh, you know, towards that situation. But what do you think about the whole thing? Uh, I think that's awesome. I want to give a big shout-out to Jacob Moreno on the check-in. What up, what up? Congratulations, King. Congratulations. Yes. He just Perfect. Control, right? that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob! <laughs> that's right keep making the city proud young man he said yes sir my boy now oh, jp jp i got a question for you um and i'm gonna i'm gonna have you put on your, your hold, on, hold on before you go before you go before you hold on to that question coach no because he mentioned the bad advice crew right and i wanted to touch on that trust me these guys are always going to be around Always. Right? They're going to be around. They're going to latch on. They, they're going to know what's, what's best for you better than you and your family. They're just going to come in and tell you, like, this is what you should do. Right? And it's, we're not talking about the, you know, uh, the guys in your circle as far as, you know, the guys from your AAU team and directors and things of that nature, and your parents and coaches that are very tight and your trainer. That's all that, that tight circle um, that keeps you grounded and, and motivated. But there's there's those that's outside entities that's always just gonna latch on. Um, one thing that everybody's gonna be drawn to and was uh, CK touched on. Uh, no, is uh Sha Sha Infinite. Thank you, Sha. Appreciate you. He said peace. He said I love this young man's aura, well spoken and mature. Honestly, you know some people could tell they could sniff it out. And be like he looks the part. He behaves like the part. Well, we are gonna you know befriend him so we can latch on to a success right keep your in your, your circles small right and i know you you've been doing this for a long time and people have been after you since you was in eighth grade but all the things that coach said man i do agree man you gotta watch out for the bac the bad advice crew they always gonna be around yes sir appreciate you no doubt till sorry the day, about the coach go ahead till the day you hang them up for sure but uh, a quick question for you and then me and Pooh are going to get into some other hard hits. Tell us how good um, Elijah Small is. Put on your oh, scout yeah. cap. Put on, you know, give me a little uh, analysis because he's one of my top available seniors still around and a guy I really like, uh, JP. Give us a little insight. Me too, yeah. Um, so, I mean, I see him. That's my boy. I see him every day. Um, he work, He work, He worked just as hard as me. He's in the gym. Um, after school, just working, trying to get stronger. Because we always tell them, like, Eli, if you want to go next level, you got to gain, like, 20 pounds, bro. You'll be a monster. <laughs> and he's like, I know, bro. I know, I know, I know. So he, he's in the gym. He's he's always working. Great dude. He's smart. He He's reliable. He's a good, he's a good person, you know. 
And um, I think he's – um he said he's going to prep school. He said that he might be going to Vermont Academy. I don't know for sure, though. He has a lot of prep schools calling him. And a lot of – um I think low major D1s was calling him, too. But he said he wanted to go to prep school, work on his body, and then see what he gets from there. So I don't know where he's going 100%, but I know he definitely has a lot of options. He sounds like one of the scouts already, man. He's going to take my job one day if he wants. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm listen. If he wants, if he wants, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if y'all don't know, y'all better get with the program. A lot of you guys, and I'm not talking about the guys who can't make it, right? We're talking about the guys who just declined to come on the show because they don't want to speak. And me and Coach always say, if you want to go to the next level, you got to come on this platform, not just saying this platform, but you got to get on these platforms and you got to learn how to speak. I don't care if you're doing it in the mirror, taping yourself, being on your own platform talking. You got to learn to talk. This is the game. This is how it goes. So if you plan on being that guy, there's going to be a bunch of microphones in your face. So what do you think? So what do you think? Win, lose, or draw. They're going to come and they're going to ask you those questions. You can't decline to talk to people because – you're going to start getting bad press and you're not going to last too long in, in anywhere in your situation. So for you to come on here, man, you are, I'm telling you, there's some guys that came up here and some girls. My brother, Young King, trust yes, me, sir. you are one of them ones. Appreciate and we you. see it on the court. And it translating in front of the camera, and you know you was on time, right in front of the camera, ready to go, and you know you're not shying away from the questions, man. So definitely, man. Appreciate now hold on, hold on. CK, CK goes when we ask you where where you might go. Look what CK put up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised nobody didn't say OSL. Hey, I, I know that's gotta be one. Salute to Coach, nah, yeah, Coach Davis. Those my guys over there. Look, look, I'm always gonna preach the city. You know what I'm saying? If it's New York, even Long Island Lutheran, if it's New York, I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. We got two great, great programs in OSL and Long Island Lutheran. So either way, man, it, it works and it makes sense. Yes, sir. And yeah. then uh, JP, if you were to move on. Are you? Would you be staying in the 2026 class? Um, would you yeah. Consider moving back to 2027 if you made the move. We're going down. Yeah. No, nah, I would never go down. No, no, no. Okay. If, I, if anything, I'll move up. But nah, no, hold not, on. Definitely not going <laughs> Yo, down. Yo, you are killing it tonight. You have no idea how much you're killing it tonight. I, you. Let's go. I <laughs> love that. Right. You, I know. What you me mean you going back? We not going back. We ain't going back. <laughs> not at all. I gotta play with the little. I gotta play with the little guys. And I, I want to play with the big boys. You heard? You heard who he was working out with, Captain Jack. Why would I move back? Yeah. I was just playing with a McDonald's All American. He mentioned it. I was just playing with a pro today. We all know Captain Jack going to the league. God willing, he don't get hurt. Trust me, that kid is going to the league. One on one. Why would I go back? It's not LA Fitness, fan. We ain't doing that. <laughs> no knock to anybody who's still playing in LA Fitness, but my God, Josh ain't doing that. Not right now. All right? Nah. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. I I, 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 I agree. I agree, CK. Yup, for real. Straightforward with it. Love it. Love it. Hey, Coach. Um, let me see if I have any more questions before we have some fun with you, brother. Uh, okay. Last, last comment. I know you've been working on your handle, right? Yes, Tell me, sir. if your patty cake game gets crazy, people going to have problems. No, honestly, your patty cake game get crazy. It's going to be a wrap for people because how are they going to stop you? That's yeah. going to be the key. That's going to be the key. The left, right, being, you know, polished, being able to, you know, you can finish with both, but being able to go strong through people. Uh, you know, I watched some guys 
uh, playing the playoffs and, you know, some of the most elite guys that we have in the city, and they couldn't make that turn around that corner on the handle, right? You got to be able to make that turn. You got to be able to make that stride, that, that, that rip through and go and be able to dribble in front of guys. And not when guys come in front of you, you start turning your back and you, you know, you're protecting the ball. You got to be able to paddicate that thing, man. So, you, you know, you get a chance, man, you know, get with those little guards, man, and let them come at you, man. And so you can get their handle down straight, man. Then the sky is the limit because everybody's going to be at your mercy. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. No and doubt. That's what I'm going to be working on. And keep shooting threes, all right, bro? Threes. I got you. He, this kid never saw a shot he didn't like. Trust me. He he got a yo. Listen, he last year you'll be like, what the hell is he shooting? You know, and this year you start seeing a, a, a better shot selection. Consistency. Right? His consistency went way up. There. That that was the key. That mm -hmm. was the key right there. Yeah. 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 And, and, and he showed like we talked about. He could do he could do multiple things. He started filling up the stat sheet like we talked about, and you know. I don't want to hear that this kid's not a winner because I know this kid is passionate about winning. That's what he wants to do. And it was the first thing I saw. You know, he was like the 9 a.m. AAU game, and he was freaking lead scorer and getting up and down, you know, right away. So I know I know winning is important to him. So let's get rid of that nonsense right there. But you ready for some questions? Oh, that's pretty, anything else? Yeah, hold on. This, this guy got a body like a damn tight end. <laughs> right, this dude like if, if I put, went and took him to like you know USC or UConn football, they would be like, "Yo, is that a new football recruit?" Like his yeah. neck, like you put a damn helmet on, you see his neck is crazy, right? Yeah, the uniform, yo, fam. Anyway, that's that's crazy. Yeah, let's have some fun with him, coach. So J JP, I'll ask you this: Did you ever play any other sports besides basketball growing up? Um, so I think I played soccer, but I was young. But other than that, no, just basketball. Just basketball. Never football. Never. Um, favorite NBA team? Uh, probably Lakers. Love LeBron. Player, player you model your game after? Um, I like D Wade, kind of. I try to. At least I try to. D Wade, Jalen Brown, those dudes. Do you watch college basketball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite video game? I don't even play video games. I'm be honest with you. I haven't played <laughs> video game in forever. I'll be in the gym. Yo, <laughs> yo, do you hold on, fam? This, this kid is ready for prom time. He's not wasting any time at all. I know, I know. And it's he's such a nice kid too, and so humble. Like I, I wanted to still have fun, you know. Make sure you have fun, GP. All right. Yeah, my mom tells me that. I try, I try, I try. <laughs> Oh, you, you're already ready. Who, who are you listening to these days? Yeah, what music, like music? music? Yeah, um, I, I like Rod Wave, a little baby, uh, Juice World, those type of guys. Yo, if you would have said like Luther Vanjo, Marvin Gaye, I'd be like, Yo, you better get out of here, <laughs> man. Like, Y'all be sitting and listening to RB, you know, I listen to a little Joe here. All right, cool, Rod Wave, I hear you, I hear you, little baby, yeah, yeah, those, those definitely they, they smack for real, they smack, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who taught you the game of basketball, JP? Uh, my parents kind. Of, my parents kind of. They didn't really know a lot, but they they told me I had to pick a sport, and we tried. We tried like soccer, and I kind of liked it. And we tried basketball, and I loved it. So then they were like, "Okay, if you want to do that, you got to keep working hard and keep putting the hours, and the work the work will pay off." And that's what I did, and they just kept me consistent and motivated. So it was really my parents. Were you knocking the other kids down when you was playing soccer? Like, like uh, were you always that was. big? No, nah, I was. I, Nah, not really. I wasn't really that big. I was always, I was always lifting though. Like when I was young, like sixth, fifth grade, they used to say like lifting will stunt your growth. But I was doing it, and then I was on the Vertimax, and I started growing. I was like, I'm gonna keep doing it, and then I just literally, I just grew, just I just grew taller, and I kept getting stronger. That's why I just kept doing. Who the hell is lifting weights in the fifth and sixth grade? <laughs> Who, where, that's where, where, kid, where where are you from? For real, what? Yeah, I always, I always been lifting. Yeah. Man, he definitely looked upon eighth grade because I was just like, who the hell is this grown man playing with these damn kids? <laughs> he was so much bigger. And, you know, you you know, you know, see kids, you like, you know, wow, once he grows into his body, he's going to be good. Like, this kid was already put together. Yeah. Insane. Insane. Now, JP, who would you say was the funniest guy uh, on Malloy this past season? Um, Probably... 
honestly, probably Eli. He be, he be always joking. And then who's who is the best hype man? Who is the best hype man from Aloy's this season? Best hype man, probably. I don't think you know him, but his name is JP Maba. He's a senior. He got hurt, but he was always hyping us, encouraging us. He was always getting us hyped before games. Yeah, he could do. It. Um, Pooh, you got anything else? Hey, listen. I, I was just checking because my phone keep going off. So sometimes I think people be sending messages to my phone. <laughs> I, I don't have time to read those messages on, on my phone. Come on, YouTube. Come be part of the fun. That's right. Come be part of the fun. Yeah, man. He is ahead of the game. He is definitely ahead of the game, man. This is, look, I, I think, you know, guys like yourself, um, we see in the next, you know, three or four years, uh, you're playing in the NCAA tournament, and, and we're going to be looking back going, wow, you know, we, we watched this kid come up, and when we get a chance to, when we got a chance to talk to him, we saw how serious he was about his craft, right? Because only a small few of the guys make it, right? We're in a situation now where you see in a lot of your peers and, you know, guys that you play ball with, probably not even going to get scholarships, right? That's just the reality of it, right? Because the NIL deals and the, the transfer portal. transfer portals, all those things that's going on right now that wasn't here before. And I think the 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 more you stay focused and the more you stay on your grind, and look, I, I think, you know, me being one of you guys and, and, and being there, um, there's going to be a lot of time for you to have – fun later enjoy the process though yes, right? sir. it's good to enjoy the process but you're gonna have plenty of time to you know have that fun because sometimes that fun can get a, a little addicted and and you know and then the girls come and then you know and a lot of other things that play a part in slowing down your progress and knowing where you are staying focused i think you'll be able to accomplish way more than you dream young man and all the things that you want to uh, they'll be right there on your plate for you to grab. Appreciate you. Nah, no doubt. Man. I really enjoy talking to you, man. You look, you, you make like when we do this, this this is for you guys, right? This ain't this ain't clout for us. That's all right. the things that you see Coach B doing on Twitter, you know, Instagram, and all those things, all those things is for you guys. And this is why me and him connected because it, it's it's genuine. And when when we get uh young people like yourself up here. It, it shows that what we're doing is the right thing because we're giving you guys a platform to talk because, hey, you, you're going to be on Sports Center one day. You, you'll be sitting down with Shaq and Kenny and them guys, and, <laughs> and them guys going to be talking about you, and, you know, you can talk about the process. And you'll be saying, man, I, I, I came up, man, on High School Basketball Weekly, man, doing it with my guys, man. So, hey, man, keep doing what you're doing, brother. We are definitely proud of you, man. Hey, salute to mom and dad and your grandparents. Tell everybody we said hi. And tell them, man, we, you know, we thank them for uh, keeping you on the right path, man, and making sure that we get a chance to enjoy everything that you're doing. I got you. I got you. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate all y'all. Yeah, no thanks doubt. for coming out, JP. You're the man. Yes, sir. All right, all right listen, no. listen, bro. When you decide where you're going to go, come back on. What, for um, school or college? Both. Oh, <laughs> we gonna we gonna start we gonna start with the school first, and all then right. we get to college later. <laughs> I got you. All right, just keep us in mind. All right. All right, my God, thank you. All right, take care. Appreciate you guys. TJP. No doubt. Wow, man. He's like, it's so funny. Like, as he starts to, uh, you know, talk and get to know kids and. Yeah, JP's like he he's like if I had a younger brother, you know, like I just root for the kid, I pull for the kid. I'm I'm so proud of how he did. I didn't even want to like give him his flowers with him on because I might even get upset because I'm so proud of the dude. Like it's so weird because I'm just so happy for him. And he's like ten times better than I even thought he would do. Just a tremendous young man. I cannot wait to see where he goes. Nah, this this has been awesome, man. It's been awesome. Um you got any things you wanna you wanna say before we get out of here? Yeah, and Pooh, like you talked about before, um, you know, as I reach out to people and and it's not the rejection that I have a problem with. It's like you said, it's the lack of 
of kind of either taking it serious or, you know, just willingness to hop on because, I mean, the the, the way that we pull for kids and the way that we want kids to be successful, I mean, if, if you can't have fun on this show and, and get your feet wet in media, I mean, I don't know where else you could really step into. I mean, this it's, it's I would just definitely take advantage if you were a kid or a coach or a program because, you know, a guy like Pooh makes it so easy and it's a no-brainer. You know, my in my ass. No, nah, I think it's true, I, and I, I'm gonna say this again: If you want to go to the next level, um, you should you should hop on these platforms and and speak, all right? And even if you you know, look, we're gonna make it easy for you. We're not gonna embarrass you. We're not gonna put you in, in any bad situations, and we'll help you get through it, no matter what it is. But I think this would be your training grounds for uh, guys and girls who want to get into the sport and understand that. The media is part of sports. It it is what it is. It, it's like yeah. you know, hand and glove. It, you can't have one without the other, um, unless you're like a really super super mega star, and yeah. when you don't have to talk to anybody. But that rarely happens. And I mean, everyone wants to talk to those guys even more. So you know that that'd be my point of view. But uh, I got one more question for you, Poe, just to stir the pot a little bit. You hear anything hey, rumor wise? You got anything? I mean, my my boys at Lehigh getting a ton of offers. Those Mingo brothers, Notre Dame, Old Miss, Old Dominion, racking up some offers at Lehigh, baby. No, no, no. I've been I just been real focused on on this uh, next season of, of basketball heads. I know we coming to a close of high school basketball weekly, um, so I've been really kind of prepping for other shows and and man. I just have to make this announcement here, man. I, I got go. I start. All right. April 30th will be four years that I've Ooh. been doing this, right? Wow. Four <laughs> years started basketball heads in 2020. Yes, yes, yes. Four years it's been. And when next week gets here, I, I'll be celebrating every day. There'll be a countdown to uh April 30th, um, a special day where I started uh basketball heads and and it kind of morphed into so many things, you know, starting basketball heads, uh, got um, neighborhood court fixed and the Brevo Basketball League started. Right. We got that. We in our third year coming up. Um, and then, you know, we had uh, me getting into high school, right? Because I, I didn't start off covering high school. I would just yeah. go to the games and then started covering high school and became not part of the high school media. And then the AAU program came up. And then, you know, me and Brian hooked up, uh, started the High School Basketball Weekly show. I'll tell you, B, I'm going to start the show. I want you to be a part of it. Um, and, and a lot of good things, a lot of great blessings um, has come out of this. Uh, got my clothing line, my merch, watch I sell, which keeps, you know, it just Fire. pays for all the extra things that, you know, I will probably need, you know, uh, getting extra equipment, things of that nature. Um, but things we are, we are evolving every year and season seven, we outside, baby. We outside. We, we'll still be doing, um, hosting some people who live, you know, outside of the city online. But for the most part, we're going to be outside, baby. So y'all look forward to that. Season 7, Basketball Heads. And I got another podcast that I can't let out the bag. It's another <laughs> it's another show, another stitch of the Basketball Heads. And it's going to be different. We're going to have some stars come through. Just a little bit different. Still a part of some of the things that, you know, <laughs> incorporates uh, the love of the game. But just a different part of it. I can't let it out the bag now. So y'all just stay tuned. Uh I shoot two two. I shoot the basketball heads podcast next week, next Wednesday. And we start the other podcast that I can't even let out the bag yet. So when y'all see it, y'all gonna understand that your boy Pooh is stepping it up and taking it to the next level. And you know. This time next year, trust me, we're going to have sponsors. We're going to have a lot of things going on. We're going to be moving and shaking. We even going to be outside. All right? So 
me and B got some things planned. So y'all just stay tuned, man, because look, it, it's been a ride. I can't even lie. It's, it haven't even been a roller coaster. It's just been one great ride, and we just going up from here, baby. Let's go. Like Fat Joe said, going all the way up. <laughs> Don't That's it. <laughs> That's it. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Facts. 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 Make and sure if you I, and pull listen, on Twitter. If I told y'all who I'm having next Wednesday, oh it will break the internet. <laughs> when I like tell y'all, and I'm starting off season seven with my guy, and I'm not going to let you know who it is, because as soon as I say it, y'all all going to be asking for interviews. And I'm going to tell y'all, straight up and down, he probably not going to do y'all. Like <laughs> I'm going to give it a buck. I'm going to give it a buck. He probably not going to do each. One and gonna, done. It's going to be done. one and done. That's it. And I'm so happy I, I, I played ball during the golden era, man. I I, I would, you know. It's going to be like when I'm had to cat, cat Williams on. <laughs> when I tell you, when I tell y'all, <laughs> it's somebody that's gonna it's gonna he's not even a person that shake things up but just his mere presence alone is gonna have everybody jaws dropping remember i told you remember i told you Excellent. and b when we get off the phone i i'll i mean when we get off here i'll call you and let you know i right, appreciate right. that <laughs> hey listen um again april 30th the anniversary basketball heads. Send your well wishes, man. I, I I like those kind of things, man. You know, just let you know. Say, you know, say you appreciate your boy. That's it. That's all I say. It's appreciation. Because I appreciate y'all. Without the city, without Long Island, without Upstate, there'll be no me, man. There'll be no basketball heads, man. That's it. Y'all know what I represent. I mean. I represent the culture, baby. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you just finished your first term, man. Four years, man. Another another term, President. <laughs> That's right. That's right. President Pooh, baby. President Pooh. That's right. That's right. That's right. Listen, it's all about the grind, baby. It's all about the grind. That's all it's about. We're here to serve. We're here to serve. Coach? Make sure you're following Pooh on Twitter. YouTube, you subscribing. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Instagram, I'm uh, Coach underscore Reichert. At Twitter, I'm at Brian Reichert. Make sure you're following both of us, subscribing to all our stuff, like, comment, DM us, anything. I mean, I am I am dealing with a lot of transfer portal nonsense, Coach. I mean, poo. I'm dealing with a lot of uh, transferitis in high school. <laughs> I'm dealing with a lot of rumors, and I and I'm, I'm trying to trying to trying to keep it swimming. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> hey, man. I'm trying. I'm you, trying. You swimming? You swimming upstream, brother? Don't worry about it. You I'm good. trying. <laughs> no doubt. Well, listen, man. We we gonna get out of here. We gonna see you guys next week. Next week. Next week. Uh, coach, let's just have a bunch of people up here, man. We we gonna send our invites to everybody, and I. You know, I could get up to like about 10 people up in this joint. Let's have some fun next week um, and end this thing with a blast. Let's start like this week sending out invites to people. Love it. You got it. All right. Anytime, my man. We'll, we'll, we'll do it right for the finale. We'll get That's it. right. We're going to have we're going to have some uh, New York City guys, public Catholic school. I want some guys from like Westchester. Maybe we get some Mount Vernon or uh, New Rochelle guys. We get okay. some guys from uh, girls, whatever, right? Both girls and boys, Long Island. Let's let's bring a whole New York up in this joint, man. Let's do it good. Love it. Sounds great, Pooh. Till no next doubt. time, my friend. And thank you, JP, for coming on, my man. You're the best. No doubt, no doubt. Says she'll get Jalo up here. Oh, yeah. Hey, hit Jalo up. Tell him we going to hit him up. Hit us up. He could come on the show. We with that. Love it. Definitely. Yo, CK, we're going to bring you up here too, man. We're going to bring you up here too, round everything up. CK found my Twitter, so he's blowing me up, my guy. I love it. Sending no me some stuff. Oh, he that. sent me. He sent me. I, yo, listen, man. You, you got to. 
sometimes I'll be with people and you you be texting and back to back to back and it's just, it be looking crazy, but I go, yeah, it's my it's my guy. It's my I guy. get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> yo, yeah, you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey yo, uh Mo Shicey, definitely hit Jalo up and tell him we want him on next week. All right, tell him we want him on next week. Next week, Friday. Let's do that. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. CK, I'll holler at you. Coach. Peace. Night, y'all. No doubt.